Anyone can get spider or varicose veins, but certain risk factors can make them more likely to form. News Center 11's Monty Bowen takes a look at the problem in this week's health report. Vein problems often run in families. If your parents had them, odds are you will too. There are any number of symptoms that would indicate that a person might have such problems. If you have pain in your legs or swelling at the end of the day, that's a tip-off. If you have leg cramps at night, that can be a tip-off. If you have ulcers in your legs, those are all reasons that you should be evaluated. What you do can also be a factor. If you're always on your feet, if you're a nurse, you know, if you're a sales clerk, if you, I mean, you're on your feet, the back pressure in those problem veins combines with your problem genetics and makes it worse. The problem is caused by valves in the veins that fail. Well, these valves are one-way valve. They're supposed to open to allow blood to flow through. They're supposed to close so that when you're standing, blood can't backflow. And in 20 to 30 percent of the population, these valves have failed. The veins have widened for various reasons and the valves become incompetent. That means when you are standing or sitting, the blood tries to go back down. When you get extra pressure in your legs and that causes pain or swelling. It used to take major surgery to remove problem veins. Now we can treat a, a patient here in the morning at 8 o'clock and they can go back to work at 10. People wanting more information can call the Laser Vein Center in Fairbanks. Monty Bowen, News Center 11. The Health Report is brought to you by the Ear, Nose and Throat Clinic, located in the Medical Dental Arts Building. Call 456-7768.